Welcome to the Eminem's Music Lounge here at K2 Euphoria. I'm Wendy Wilde alongside my best friend from KTU, freestyle legend Judy Torres, and we're here to interview a couple of artists here Absolutely. today. Absolutely. It's all about KTU for you, celebrating 25 years of music, including a special freestyle set with Cynthia, Coro, and Lizette Melendez. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Happy to be here. So it's been a while since we've been here, right? Yeah. How long has it, how, how long do you remember it being? Oh, wow. I'm yes. going to say over... Maybe 15 years? That long? It, I think so. Maybe anywhere between 10 and 15, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm feeling yeah. like it's been about 10 years. Yeah. Don't you guys play shows all the time together? All the time. All the time, yeah. yeah. All wow. the time. We're like family now. We yeah. share the dressing room. We while. share clothes. So we, we're running. We're just yes. We share clothes. <laughs> we're all yeah. clothes. <laughs> Can I just ask, because I feel like you guys do these shows all the time together, but what about this in particular feels different? Hmm. Why does it feel different? Yeah. Well, I mean... Basically, we haven't been here, we haven't done this event for quite some time, and just re reuniting with all of us together and seeing the, the DJs from back then as well, uh, touching base with them, and just uh, collaboration of everybody just all here together and enjoying themselves. Yeah, we used to do a lot of KTU concerts, mm -hmm. and especially in the summertime. And what I remember especially was when we first started doing it, how we began performing towards the, towards the beginning of the show, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And then all of a sudden, one year, something happened. It was like a wildfire caught. And everyone went crazy, and all of a sudden, freestyle was a, a masterpiece. It was like an instrumental part of all the concerts. So for us to do this concert, to me, that's what it reminds me of. It's like we're coming back together to do that again. Indeed. So, Judy, I know I'm, like, becoming the interviewer, and you're supposed to be doing the interview wing here <laughs> but like are, do you feel like you're here as a performer or you you're here as a k2 dj because you're the only one here that is playing a, like wearing a lot of hats yeah i like my hats <laughs> i like the hats no I, I, I feel like it's both i feel like you know i mean first first and foremost my head is um, is about the performance you know because that's a big deal because this is the first time we're doing this in a yeah. long time so to me it's a big deal to do it to do it with my family and uh and, you know of course to go on stage and then introduce them too that's going to be fun it's going to be great what about you, Cynthia? What do you think? What, how do you feel with your luxury? I always say she, she needs to do a panting hair commercial because her hair is beautiful. Lizette's too. Oh, thank you. So, my love. what do you feel about this show? I just I don't think anything's different about it. I just think it's just a special reunion. I mean, it's just bringing back so many memories of you know doing the beat stock back here back in the days and just the freestyle being such an instrumental you know piece of the concert. And tonight is just special. And to see it's just a big reunion to see a lot of faces mm -hmm. from back in the days yeah, yeah. and to see the fans' reaction. You know, just getting the feedback online on social media has been so amazing. So we're really, I'm really excited. And I think, really excited. Too, I think too, we're going we're gonna to have new fans this yes. time along I think too. so, too. It, mm -hmm. It's funny to see, you know, you've got your fans from back in the day, and they are diehard. They call themselves freestyle freaks. Yes. Absolutely. I did not name them. That is what they <laughs> call themselves. So what can the freestyle freaks and the new fans expect? Are there any surprises in store? I always try to keep it current, fresh, and I try to step outside my comfort zone. Um, as much as possible without losing, you know, the core fans. So who knows what's going to happen up there? I just try to keep it fresh. So I, think I surprise it might be myself like a little collaboration or two. Yeah, yeah it collaboration. It could yes. happen. It could happen. And we well, never know with Coral. That's true. You know, Coral. Oh. Coral's our. Um, what? <laughs> he no no. You're not the guinea pig. <laughs> he's the, the guinea he's pig. the prankster of our group. He's the prankster of our group. We never. You have to watch yourself. Elements you have to have surprise. eyes in the oh back of your head goodness. because he's so always planning something. Is he, you, is he something. like TPing the dressing rooms? Like uh, what's going oh on here? God. He does horrible <laughs> things. You could be in the dressing room and he'll put like thousands of stuff in front of it and you open the door, you can't get out. He, he does just crazy things like that. He'll, he's he'll, the, he'll he's he the drops uh, steel can garbage prankster. cans behind us. He just terrifies the hell of us. So we never really know what's going to happen I'm with him. I wasn't gonna do anything here because I don't want. I want to come back again. <laughs> I don't think, they won't let me come back if they if I get carried away. Uh, now nah, we'll, we'll, we'll I still pray have for that. the forks that you put in my bag. You put like 200 forks in my backpack. Did it make it through the And I still have it at home. It made it through security. But there was a time where we we performed in in Florida at this place called Mannequins, and it was a dance floor that rotated, and it was packed. And he was so upset that it was packed. He said, like, we can't dance in here. We can't dance. We were trying to have fun that night, you know? And he threw a stink bomb. 
and he oh, cleared the place like that. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Oh, yes, I do. Do you just carry stink bombs in your bag? Yeah, that, was, that, was, that, was that was a long time ago. That's like 25 years ago, no, but I remember it. Me. She's <laughs> the one that taught me and showed me where the stink bombs were. That's how I learned you it from did, her. You did, Cynthia? I sure oh, did. No. And I learned a lot back, of bad things. 35 years, yeah, right? Yeah, 35 years 35 ago. 35 years. Yeah. Yes, I introduced him to stink bombs. I did do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's hard to believe it's been that long. You know, and, oh, and like to me, this whole thing feels like a family reunion. Union. Mm -hmm. you know, what would you say, thinking back 25 years of KTU, what is the one standout memory? I may have asked you this before when you were in studio, but what is the one standout memory? Oh, wow. Mm. Could be like from Beatstock or... That, that, I think that would always be a memory for me, just mm -hmm. the Beatstock and just the, the, the crowd. And, you know, I think every time we, uh, I hit the stage, I can speak for myself that I see the fans singing the songs, it's special. It's special and it's surreal it, it, and it's just amazing. So Beatstock will always be special yeah, to me. Yeah. 25 years, it's crazy. It's almost cult-like, you know, <laughs> to see the, the fans after 35 years still singing. And many of them have seen us perform many times yeah. and they keep coming. And I want to say, what's wrong with you? But they love it. And it's no, because, right, I mean, you, I mean, how many times do you watch a movie? So there's some movies you watch over and over well, forever, yeah, right? Sure. But then, then otherwise, you're like, I've seen that already, you know? So the fact that they're still coming, it, it's, it's a huge compliment yeah, to the music, to us. Is, we they love it. Ride or die yeah. the whole time. They really have. They really have. Wait, real quick, can I just share my favorite memory? I know I'm not an artist, Please. but I just want to say that the first day that I was ever on the air on KTU back in 2006, they were like, you're going to train, and Judy Torres is going to train you. And I may have pooped myself. Oh. I was like, wait a second. Judy, the Judy Torres is going to train me? I, but she was so loving and so sweet and just the, the, mo the warmest person I've ever met. And it's just like it's an honor to be you know, on your team here and, and to see you take the stage tonight and, and to new friends. And you guys are just amazing. It's been such an honor to have you in our studios and now on our stage tonight at KTU4. Thank you so much. It really is amazing. It's going to be us. amazing. It's We're going to have really a really good, good time. Yes. I'm going to start crying. Oh, no, wow. that, <laughs> but that's the beauty of it. You know, that's the beauty of it. Like, like, like Cynthia was saying about Beatstock, I remember, specifically I remember with TKA, mm -hmm. it was one of the first Beatstocks we had ever done here. Uh -huh. And TK came on and I remember the crowd, everybody just stood up. And I was, I, re I remember being taken back, like, oh mm. shoot, you know? And then, Kay came out, he went out into the audience and the crowd went crazy. And then from that time, ever since, freestyle was always part of all the concerts. Yeah. So it, it definitely defined, it was a defining moment for a lot of us, you know? Yeah. So it's gonna be good tonight. Gonna it's gonna be, be real good. Amazing. It's gonna be good. I miss being here. Yeah. You know, the wind's in our hair. It's gonna be <laughs> it's a little fabulous. too much wind. Have but it's amazing wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play it all. Like, it was good. Frozen. <laughs> And you know, this, and then to see like Raina and and Lucas. and Lucas Prada, yeah. like these are songs that we were singing too, you know, and Freedom definitely part too. of K, K, definitely yeah. part of KTU, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. We're excited to see you take the stage. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Wendy. Appreciate it. Twenty-five years of celebration. We're really excited.